Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video on truly what is the nicest 442 convertible we have ever owned. You say, well Tone, uh, you've had what, 30, 40 of those things? How could this one be the nicest? How would you even know this is the nicest if you've had so many? Well, when you're in, in this field and you're looking at this every day and this is your office view, you have some idea what you're talking about. I'm not suggesting I do, I'm just saying other people in this building here have a lot to do with that. Anyway, uh, what I mean by that is we purchased this from the original owner. His uh, whole process was he kept this car because his dad was an old dealer and his dad passed and he just kept it throughout the time and they could no longer take care of the car anymore and so now our job is to help find the next person to enjoy this incredible car. This car was believe it or not restored again even though it had ultra low mileage on it it was restored and when I say restored it's over restored. It is a brand new brand new 72 uh, 442 and on top of it it's painted underneath just like it is on top so every nut bolt plate chrome engine yada yada all beautifully restored and looking fabulous the one thing I want to start out with right away if I could is that's the paint quality because the paint quality when you pull into a car show or on the on the light at night when you pull into a place or you're at the beach or whatever this car is amongst other supermodels in the showroom but outside on the road it is spectacular so come on up here let's check this out first make sure you look at every little letter in there that you can read those you want to ask somebody to do this for you if you're looking at other cars out there I'd be surprised if you're looking at other cars out there since this is a nice one on the planet but let's just say you did if you were uh, this right here says right away boom how you doing all right so I want to go over this real quick uh, a couple small things so we are right at the cusp of radials at this point here some of the early cars had the bias ply tires some had radials and things like that depending on the color of the car according to the Oldsmobile records would determine the color of the wheel on the car so for instance like red cars didn't get red wheels because it was too much red but a blue car got painted blue wheels they said the same about the yellow the yellow got the black wheels because it was just too much yellow on the car not sure if that's correct in every single model that was out there I just like to point that out in the sense that if that is incorrect and we do find out that to be there we can always color match the wheels to make this exactly the way it should have been uh, rolled on the showroom floor all right so this has what makes a 442 in my opinion the 442 one of the greatest hoods of all cars ever made this is the real deal real steel factory hood all of this stuff underneath here is believed to be all original original paint on the engine right original decals are here right all of this stuff here steel hood this is just an amazing piece of history right some of it uh, is just uh, so period correct and things like that but what I do love so much about it is it does have a lot of things that we forget to ask about in muscle cars not all muscle cars came with power disc brakes and power steering this car has both of those it also has cold factory air conditioning functional air conditioning so imagine going out to dinner with another couple or something like that or going out with the kids uh, the experience for dinner is great and what if it's hot what if it rains whatever here you throw the top up flip the AC on and you're like rolling on down the road very nice all right so let's take a peek in the trunk and the reason I take a peek 
in the trunk means because part of a restoration or part of the details of a car that is worth more than others is wrapped up in all of the little things. So let's talk about that for just one second real quick, okay? For instance, the trunk light works. We say, Tone, you can't decide a car has better value because the trunk light works versus one that does not. You're absolutely right. But it's all of these little things that I'm showing you that make for a car worth X versus here, they're inside the books that you look at. So all of the NADA guys and KBB and those kinds of things, whatever the historical books you're looking at for a value, don't take into effect. Does the car have a full-size spare and a, detailed, uh, and a detailed jack and things like that? Does the trunk light work? Is the mat correct? Is it painted correctly in here? Does it have the right decals? All of those things are missing from those books. Those books are guides. And we have found that the only books that can buy and sell cars are checkbooks, right? So anyway, these are the little things I feel that make for a difference in a car, and that's why I want to point out some of them to you. This is a beautiful show trunk. You could go to a show, open the hood, open the trunk, right, and stand around, and people will gawk at this car and go, wow, that is an incredible piece of history. So one of the reasons why people love these cars, that sound, first of all, says to me, I'm fully restored. Why? Because that is an annoying thing, and most people would not do the extra effort to go ahead and do that. But while that's buzzing itself away, right, I'm a kid, I'm 6'1", I'm reeling on down the road, and I'm going to dinner tonight uh, in this cool car or I'll get the rumble of, of the way to the beach with the AC blowing cold. This is a great experience. This is a life-changing experience for most people. You go out with another couple in this instead of the minivan or your sport utility, and it reminds you of a different time. The analog get dash there sets things off. It makes everything great. And then you can just give yourself, imagine yourself, Right here. And that right there, my friend, says to me, restored right away. Listen to this. That is a nicely, nicely restored or original style door. So we have our dash here all set up, original AM, FM, uh, full gauges, including the tick tock tack. Even the clock is working in this car. So we looked at footwell lighting. We listened to the key and buzzer. We looked at the trunk lighting in there. We looked at all of these little tiny things. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but to, to make a car a great car, all of those things have to work so that it is really the finest car that's available to you. Console and buckets, uh, this four spoke steering wheel, power convertible top. What we do for a lot of people, is we install a hidden digital sound system in there. This way we keep the dash all nice and stock, put a nice little stereo in there that you can stream music from your phone or satellite radio or whatever you like and uh, enjoy the car, but keep the dash all looking stock the way it should be. Put the lights underneath here like it did from the factory. This is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of history. All right, so part of the authentication process and part of why a car becomes more valuable is the documentation. You know, losing documentation 30 and 40 years along the way is how these cars lose their value. In this case here, this is some pretty cool stuff. Original owner's manuals. Uh, here is the original set of keys, okay, still in its original pouch from the dealer, all right? Certa card here, uh, what we call the protecto plate. Right? A lot of people say, well, what exactly is a protective plate? Well, if you remember back in the old days, uh, you'd run a credit card across the machine like right? that. Well, the same thing would happen at a dealership. They would put in the service repair order, slip in this card with your name and information on it, run it across there, and the three carbons there would make prints on there. And so all this right here, just another piece to uh, the great puzzle that this car has created. So we closed up this video on this incredible 442 experience we just checked out. This car sounds, drives, and looks just like everything that I have described in it. It is tight. It's fast, the air conditioning is nice, all of the luxury features that are in it look great. I'm just telling you, man, this rolling down the road is a spectacular piece of history. You got to find a way to get it into your life. Call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about it. And don't forget to click on the link below. It'll take you to prices, description, and a full set of pictures. All right? Thanks again.